Hey guys, it's Taylor Stratton and welcome back to Stratton Life. Today's video is going to be the first ever video that I am filming with my new camera. My husband did get me the Canon Rebel SL2 um, and it is amazing. I'm in love already. Um, I used to film on my phone and even though that was good enough for me, I still wanted to have better quality for my channel. So I did upgrade and get a nice camera, so thank you so much to my wonderful husband for getting me this camera and supporting my channel as always and supporting me and everything like that. And I'm so happy that I have this camera um, with the ama amazing quality that it has for our upcoming San Antonio trip. I picked up a little handheld um, tripod. I am filming on a big tripod at the moment, but um, also sorry if I look over here, um, the screen flips out, so I like looking at myself. I'm sorry if that annoys anyone, but um, yeah, so I did get this um, little handheld tripod, um, and I'm planning on getting um, an external mic. I went to Walmart today to see if they had one, and unfortunately they didn't. So I guess I'm going to have to go to Best Buy soon or um, order it off of line. Order it online. Um, but yeah, this tripod is actually really cool. I like how it bends in different ways and how you can set it up or you can just like, you know, hold it and vlog. So um, I'm really excited to use this on my trip. Um, I got this at Walmart. It was like $16, but from what I've seen... So far, it was worth every penny. So, yes, I love this. But with that being said, sorry for the long intro. Um, today's video is going to be a video that I personally love watching. I used to watch these videos all the time when I was pregnant, um, just to be prepared, I guess. But it is a what's in my diaper bag. Let's get started. So this is my diaper bag. Um, I actually just got this. Before I had this, um, my mom got me a monkey diaper bag for my baby shower um, and my mother-in-law got me a pink butterfly diaper bag. And although I love those and I, use, I used those at the beginning of From When Hazel Was Born, um, I started using a bag that my mother-in-law got me for Christmas. It was kind of like a purse rather than a diaper bag, but I just stuffed everything in there because um, it was big and roomy and convenient. Um, and then I started downsizing to just my normal like everyday purse that I got from Target. And then I started wanting a backpack because I thought it was more convenient. And I also wanted a backpack um, that had one of these like things where you could just like get the wipes out. Um, and I wanted a little bit bigger and I also wanted to just get this so I could hold everything in it that I want to bring to San Antonio because um, we're going to be walking a lot and I just want to have everything here organized, more pockets, everything like that. So um, I did go to Walmart yesterday um, to look at all the diaper bags that they had and I fell in love with this one. So, um, this is BB gear. Um, I've never heard of that company before, but, um, it's really good, like, material. It's really sturdy. Um, it was $40 or so, and it has a lot of pockets. It's big. It's going to fit everything that I need. And yeah, um, I also loved the color. I liked how it's like something I could wear, but it's also something that my husband Anthony could wear. Um, even though he does carry, you know, like the kiddish diaper bags and he carries my purses, the pink one and the other one that was purple. Um, but I just thought this was, he would like this a lot better too. So, and he did, which is awesome. So. Yeah, this has a bunch of pockets. Um, it is a backpack um, and it's padded right here so it's comfortable to wear. I actually wore it today when we went um, to the park for a little fun day with my husband's 
company, company, because he's in the army, but, um, yeah, I really liked it, it was convenient, but, yeah, so let's get started with what's in my diaper bag. So, um, there is a zipper right here at the top, and the only thing that I have in here, um, this actually came with the diaper bag, um, is a little changing mat. Um, one of the diaper bags that I had previously did have a, a changing pad. Um, they did have a changing pad, but it wasn't as um, foamy, or it was, but I kept washing it, so the foam kind of just got all mushed together. So i um, hoping to keep this one, and hopefully this one will, will last a little bit longer. If not, I'll just order more. Um, but yeah, so it's a nice size um, changing pad. And it just goes in its own little spot. I like that there's just a little pocket for it because um, if it gets dirty, I can just throw it in here and it has its own little pocket. But um, I use this every time I go out because, like, I don't want to put her on the changing table. Um, I think it's nasty. And plus, because they don't have a lot of... Um, and because they don't have a lot of changing tables in the men's bathroom, my husband always has to lay this on the floor and change my daughter. So, yeah, it's very convenient. Um, so the next pouch right here is the main compartment. Um, I don't know if you can see. There are two... That's her toy. <laughs> There are two little compartments right here, right here, and right here. And what's in here is I have a little mini hand sanitizer just because um, when Hazel was a lot younger, I didn't want everyone touching her. And if they, um, if I felt comfortable with them holding her, I would be like, hand sanitizer. <laughs> but um, I still have it in here just because it's convenient. Um, it's champagne champagne toast by Bath and Body Works. It smells really good. I love it. So I always have hand sanitizer. Um, and then I just have two little like chapsticks for me so my lips don't get dry. Um, I'm just going to put everything away as I go so it's just an easy cleanup. Um, the second pocket, I have um, diaper rash cream. I do use the Destin brand, oh, Desitin, I think is what it's called, brand. Um, I find that it works best on Hazel, but it might not work on, you know, not might not be the best on everyone else's kid. Um, and then I also have just a little brush. She is starting to get longer hair, and she's starting to get little, like, curls in the back. Um, so, and I also put bows in her hair constantly, so sometimes she'll, like, pull and mess it up. And um, so I just like combing her hair throughout the day so she like constantly looks nice. After those two pockets, there is just the main compartment. And I always keep toys in here. Um, just so when we go out, she has something to play with. She loves her toys. So at the moment, I just decided to put these two toys in. Um, they are her favorite. And the most cutest, the cutest thing is I used to have this Disney toy. It was one of my first Disney stuffed animals, and I went to the Disney store a couple months ago, and I had to get her this. So yes, those are the two toys that I currently have in here now. Um, and then I also have her monkey Wubbanub. Um, she doesn't use binkies as often as she used to when she was a lot younger. Um, but I do keep this in here just for her to, you know, play with with the rest of her toys. And she really likes chewing on the sides instead of, you know, sucking on it because she is teething. So, um, it's kind of like a teething toy, I guess. So I just keep this in here as well. You can't go wrong with having a burp cloth, um, handy at all, the t at all times. She constantly, um drools so I always have to wipe her mouth so I always have that 
Um, I put extra wipes in a bag mostly because when I opened um, the wipe package, not all of them could fit in the little side holder that they have that I'll get, get into in a minute. So I just put the rest in a Ziploc baggie so I can put, um, so I could basically just refill the side pocket if needed be. Oh, another toy. This is one of her favorite toys um, she got from Easter. She loves the little rattle. Okay, so I got this cup for my baby shower. Um, it's just one of those cups that like when you put your mouth right here, the water juice or whatever comes out. Um, she stopped taking bottles for me, so she currently is getting fed like purees, um, food that me and my husband eat, and I'm still breastfeeding her. Um, but if I leave her with someone else for me to go do an errand or whatever, she will not let them give her a bottle of milk. So I have to breastfeed her. Um, but I want to see if maybe she will start using this cup a little bit more because she likes sucking on things. So maybe if she just sucks right here, it'll come out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to move her up to a big girl sippy cup I guess if you will so I put this in here just so I can remember to try it out when we go to like a restaurant or something um and then I just have why are these like all crumbled <laughs> but I just have um diapers or whatever I need to refill this but I just have diapers in here and then this is my little bag that I keep my um, breastfeeding cover in. So like I said before, I still breastfeed. And um, it's not that I don't feel comfortable breastfeeding in public or not covered. It's just I don't like too, I guess. I mean, in a way, I sort of am uncomfortable because I don't want to, I mean, I shouldn't feel uncomfortable, but I mean, a lot of people, you know, sexualize it and they don't like it. So they tell like the breastfeeding mother to stop or like go in the bathroom. And like, if I didn't have this and my daughter was hungry, like, okay, I'm going to feed her. But um, I do like having this on hand. So this is my breastfeeding cover. It is floral. I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. It's super, super soft. Um, I love how the top of it is kind of small and then the bottom of it kind of just like flows. Um, but yeah, it's super nice. I love it. I actually got it off of Amazon. But yeah, so I do use this when I am out in public. And that's basically it for the big pocket. I'll just put all of this back in here. <laughs> this is a big pocket, so I don't have anything really organized besides the two little pockets. And then this little pocket right here um, is actually for like your phone or electronics. The inside is, I don't know if you could see, it's super like soft material just so your um, phone doesn't get all scratched or whatever. So I'm probably, you know, obviously going to use it for my phone. Um, today I used it uh, uh, to put my phone charger in there just so it's easy to grab and compact. Um, and then we'll go into this pocket. This pocket, um, I have her baby sunscreen in it. Um, I did use this today, so that's why it is it is in here. But um, when I do go out, I like having it just so I can put it on. She does get hot super easy. Um, so yeah, and plus I'm going to put it on her constantly when we're in San Antonio walking around in the river walk or um, in SeaWorld because I don't want her to get sunburnt. But yeah. Um, 
I also put some Baby Dove lotion in here. Um, I'm going to start using lotion on her skin. She did have sensitive skin when she was a lot younger and she'd form rashes. And she hasn't had a rash in a really long time. So her doctor said that I could start applying baby lotion again and see if the rashes don't come back. Um, I've been putting lotion on her for about a week now and no rash has popped up. So I think we're in the clear with her sensitive skin. Um, in the meantime, the doctor just told me to put um, Vaseline on her skin just to keep like her skin moist and moist. That didn't cause any rash or anything like that, but it was like super tacky and sticky and took forever to dry and I hated that. So I'm super excited to keep putting lotion on her, um, as weird as that sounds, just to make her skin extra super smooth um, and plus it smells so good so I'm excited to start putting lotion on her and her not have um, as sensitive of skin as she used to so I do use the baby dove lotion I also use the Johnson & Johnson's baby lotion because that also smells really good but this is like cute in like a small um, container that I just put in here um, so like I mentioned before, she is um, going through her teething stage. Um, when she was around three months was when she started and she would cry in pain and stuff. So my husband and I did look into all of um, the teething medicine and gels and such. I heard that there was a lot of recalls on the Orogel, um, especially the ones that had the benzocaine in it. I think it's called benzocaine. Yeah, benzocaine. Um, but so I didn't want anything with benzocaine in it um, and then someone told me about the nubby soothing gel um, that is like all natural ingredients blah 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 and um, it works really great for their baby so I did pick it up um, and then it also came with this little teething binky um, it just has like little, I don't know if you can see, um, it has like these little like bumps or whatever around here just for when she chews it could soothe her gums. But surprisingly enough her gums don't seem to bother her to the point where I need to put medicine on them but I do keep it just in case, um, in case out of the blue like her tooth is starting to come in even more and she's hurting really bad so I just want to have this on hand so yes but this did seem to work really well um, when she was younger and teething she really liked the binky it helped her a lot and then next I have baby clippers um, I keep these on hand all the time um, her nails grow super fast and she likes, you know, grabbing onto me and stuff and she like pinches and when she pinches her nails like dig into my skin and it hurts really bad and they're literally talons, they're so sharp. So I always make sure um, when I start to feel them like, you know, getting sharp and them hurting when she pinches me, it hurting when she pinches me, um, I just make sure to clip her nails. Plus she scratches herself and I hate when she scratches her pretty little face, it drives me insane. So always make sure to clip her nails. Um, I also have this Babo Botanical Sensitive Baby All Natural Hydrating Stick for lips, cheeks, eczema, chapped skin, or irritation. Um, it's kind of like a balm that you just rub. Um, it smells really good too, but um, my friend Becca actually got this for Hazel a few weeks ago, which was amazing. I love when my friends love my daughter, because um, those are just true friends, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, she thought about Hazel and she picked this up at her work. Um, the doctor did say Hazel had beginning eczema at her six month appointment. Um, she recently did just have her nine month appointment and they said that it was going away so that was also really good news but um, yeah my friend Becca did pick this up for me to use on her eczema and her dry skin because it's really hot in El Paso so she does have she does tend to get patches of dry skin so I always put this on to hydrate it 
And she has um, her skin peels on the bottom of her feet, which is really weird. So I always put this on and it clears up within a couple of days. And it, it works really good so far. So I really recommend it. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much, Becca, for getting this and thinking of my little girl. Um, I also, like, put other stuff in here, um, like Tylenol or all that stuff, um, if she's running a fever, if we're on the go in case we need it, but, um, I'm mostly home with her, like, all day, I rarely ever leave her, um, and we go out, but she's normally always a healthy baby, she's only gotten sick once, and she's only running, run a fever twice, um, once after she got her shots and once when she was sick and that was months and months ago so i rarely ever carry it but um you know if she were to ever get sick again obviously i'd carry her medicine in here too so um okay so let's get into this pocket so this pocket is just where i keep an extra pair of clothes for her this is a little dress um but I do keep extra clothes on hand in case, you know, she has a um, accident because sometimes diapers don't hold it all in. You know what I mean? Um, every parent knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, so I have that on hand just in case. I also need to put a Ziploc baggie in here in case something does happen to her other outfit. I don't get it all over here. So I need to start putting um, a Ziploc bag in this pocket as well. I need to remember that. I also need to put little doggy bags in here for um, dirty diapers if I'm at a place that doesn't have a trash can. So I need to remember that. Um, okay, so the last pocket in the front right here is just my wallet. Your girl got to have her wallet on her. So yes, that's it for all of the compartments going this way. So now there's these two side pockets. So let's get into this side pocket. I love, I love all the compartments that this has, but my favorite part of this whole bag are these two side pockets. Oh, my battery's low. Oh no, gotta hurry this up. So I love this compartment. It is, um, what is it called? It holds all of the um, coldness or hotness in. So I just have a bag with a spoon in it and um, one of her bibs so she doesn't get her outfit dirty. I will put purees in here um, to keep them cold bottles when she decides she wants to take one again um and then i just keep a few snacks on hand for her when we're out and about so yes i like having this little side pocket okay sorry about that my camera died so <laughs> um anyways what i was saying was my child is really messy and um i like hated always going in my diaper bag, scrambling to find the baby wipes, opening them and grabbing them and cleaning her up. So I love how this diaper bag has just a little side compartment where I could just hit the button right here and pull out a diaper wipe. Um, but you could also just take this little bad boy out and get it this way and then refill it. But I just find it obviously more convenient just to getting it out like that. So yeah, I'm really excited about this new diaper bag. It's huge and it has all the compartments that I need, all the space that I need. It carries everything that my daughter needs to go. It also carries my things and um, probably a few things for my husband when you know we go out and I just wanna hold his stuff for him. But yeah, it's really nice. Um, I'm excited to have this one and yeah. So 
that's what's in my diaper bag. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the quality of this video because I know I did. As soon as I saw um, the camera in front of me like starting to record, I was like, <sighs> so yeah, I'm so excited um, about the new camera, the new setup. Um, stay tuned for more vlogs because that's definitely coming. Um, there's going to be a lot of travel vlogs coming as well, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification down below so you get notified every time I upload. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!